Good to be back in the world of grief. We got a couple of heavyweights here. Nike versus Rhino Gun. Considering who we have in here, I bet a lot of us are wishing somehow both teams could lose. Rhino gets Adidas trapped early. Rookie mistake from the former cell block number one. Very legit, very cool. Whoever thought we'd get these two fighting? Generation versus Generation. It's Ali versus Mayweather if both were suffering from acute lateral sclerosis and traded boxing gloves for scuff controllers. But otherwise, essentially the same thing. Rhino cutting up them Nikes like he's a young child in Indonesia. Goodfellas gets blocked himself while attempting to block someone else. It reminds me of this gem. This fight is still going on. This is getting the Family Guy levels of overdone. Somehow, he managed to knife his way up the ramp. Pretty nice. Look at this, he hit his fucking head trying to head stomp. It's like watching Mario get too old to jump. Here we have Rhino MP5 knifing. No YY, just knifing with the MP5 out. Look at this, Rhino killed the zombie, and somehow fucking Joe Pesci over here gets the power up from behind him. Rhino takes the down, and Goodfellas gets so jealous, he tries to out-stupid him, and also goes down. Adding insult to injury, the zombies just keep slapping the shit out of him while he's trying to scrub the floor clean. Even the zombies themselves don't respect Rhino Gun. Rhino trying his absolute heart out to get a grief on a random, resulting in only him going down and the random escapes. Some things never change. Marilyn Manson getting a new idea for a music video. Looks like we got a couple of Trump supporters here. Adidas and Goodfellas built the wall and made Rhino pay for it. Is Rhino actually Jesse Smollett? Well, at least he stuck the landing onto the rail. That's 200 points in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. So a random named Marilyn Manson just saved Rhino from taking a loss. You can't make this stuff up. Rhino better thank him by buying his latest CD. I mean, someone has to. Adidas puts down Snake, then he gets the random too. Huh. He must be late for having another rib removed. Adidas puts down Snake again. Looks like he had to pay for his own wall this time. Easiest grief he'll ever get. Smokey Bear getting his revenge with a little sponge action. Had to get a Rhino revive in here. Give the people what they demand. Just form a fucking wall! Well, one thing Rhino is better at than the top 10 griefers is buying Flopper without dying. At least give them that. Man, he must have angered the COD gods with that glitching, because this is getting brutal. 
When it rains, it pours with these guys. Lean Smokey Bear tries to SpongeBob them and ends up Squidward. Wait, is that the right terminology, guys? I don't play custom. Man, fuck a 360 revive. That's a guns out rhino revive. Who said this man can't play? And now he's even screen shaking. I mean, it was more of a gentle breeze, but still. He's only one Adderall away from becoming Tricky Shot. Adidas waiting on a nuke. Must have called the warden a funny guy. Funny how? Tricky Gun 64. Just fucking grief that bitch with Flopper. That was incredible. I've honestly never seen that before. So Smokey Bear just spawned back in, and Rhino repeatedly hits the box right in front of him, going as far as leaving a gun in the box to prolong it so he can't get a gun of his own. Rhino not a courteous lover confirmed. He has Flopper and ammo for Mustang and Sally, goes for MTAR power instead. Good choice. He cuts off his teammate and leaves him in the dust to get one crawlered by the goddamn crawler he made. Nike teabagging at Rhino. These guys feeling pretty confident right now. And it looks like this one is over. The Warden feeling like Tommy DeVito right about now. Adidas with the revive and grief. Unfortunately, it was his own teammate. Let's call it a half piece. An uncooked nugget, if you will. He played this the right way up until he tried to get out early. This only works if you keep training till you have every zombie. You can't get nervous. Who does Adidas think he is? Trying to one-up the round restart king himself? Rhino Gun 64? Come on now. Snake blood with the situational awareness of a baby otter. I think that is the exact opposite of how insta-kill is supposed to work. You realize that the more he jumps, the more it powers him up, right? We got Rhino Gun 9000 on our hands. Ultra Instinct type shit. He is amped up coming in for a fight now. And he gets knocked off the ledge with one knife. Now I know how Hercule felt. That moment when the LSD kicks in. What the hell was in that man's beverage? Someone laced that speed cola. Adidas not having any of that Rhino Revive nonsense. Lean Smokey Bear versus Insta Kill Part 2. Who says comedy sequels can't be good? Nike with the panic spray as opposed to a panic knife. Alright. These guys are really good at reviving and then immediately going down. So he did all those moves, and he won zombies himself on a completely unnecessary 360 revive to lose the game. Town's self-proclaimed greatest player in action. But the question remains, can these guys finish it?
Okay, so not a great start. Killing himself by shooting his teammate in the back. These guys are struggling just to survive the zombies themselves without anyone griefing them. Must have thought he had the golden spork, because I don't think a knife is going to get you through that. He has dead shot and literally can't hit the zombie using up an entire magazine of upgraded MP5. Perfect finish for this one. So there you go, for all you people that sat up at night wondering, who's the better player, V Nike or Rhino Gun 64? We now know definitively, Rhino is the better player, putting custom players worldwide on notice. Most kills, least downs, and most revives, baby. Rhino, you have anything to say to these Y-Wires? Nice try, Scrub.